Hey guys, Jason from Current Water Sports. A lot of new boaters on the lake from this past summer and certainly this summer. We want to talk about our top seven tips on how to not be that guy on the lake. Let's go check them out. Tip one, don't prep on the ramp. When you're getting ready to launch your boat, the last thing you want to do is clog up the launch ramp. Do not park your truck on the ramp and have your crew load and unload coolers, gear, and so forth. Find an open space out of the way of people launching and do all your prep work there. This allows others who are ready to quickly launch their boat and keep the flow of the launch ramp going. The same thing applies when you pull out. Get the boat on the trailer, pull away from the launch area to the parking lot, and unload the boat there. Tip two, no wake means no wake. When you're in a no wake zone, this means absolutely no wake. You want to be at idle speed only. People will often speed up past idle in an effort to get somewhere quicker. But in reality, your small wake is still shaking boats that are tied off around the docks way more than you think. Keep things to an idle. Tip number three is keep away from the docks. When you're out on the lake, you want to do your best to keep a respectful distance from docks. The closer you are to the docks, the bigger your rollers are. These large waves can cause damage to the docks or boats that may be tied off to them. Keep in mind that slowing your speed down to anything but an idle by the dock does not help. If you're going 10 miles an hour by the dock, you actually are throwing out bigger waves than you would be if you sped by at 30 miles an hour with the boat up on plane. Try and keep a distance of two to 300 feet if possible, especially if you're doing water sports. This allows your waves to dissipate out and not rock docks and boats tied to the docks themselves. Tip number three also brings us right into tip number four. Remember this guy going by and rocking the dock? He's also blaring his music for the lake to hear. So tip number four, despite what you think, nobody cares about your tunes. I love to jam out as much as anyone. And if you're in a cove by yourself, then knock yourself out. However, if you're going around the docks or idling through crowded areas, be respectful and turn the music down. Be especially careful of the lyrics as no one wants their kids hearing offensive music. Tip number five, power turns are bad. We see this time and time again where people go down the lake pulling a rider. The rider falls and immediately the driver makes a large turn and speeds up to circle back to the down rider. This is absolutely what you don't want to do. Not only does it send rollers down the lake for other boaters to cross, but you'll eventually have to cross these rollers yourselves. After your rider falls, come to a stop. Pause for maybe three to five seconds. This will let your weight dissipate out to the shore. Put the boat into an idle as you turn back towards your rider. You will find that you have a clear and much smoother path back to them as your waves move out. Not only will you keep your bow from getting swamped, but the lake will stay smoother for yourself and others at the same time. Tip number six is don't trail other boats. This happens when someone is following another boater's path. Whether they are going faster or just headed in the same direction, they often get way too close to the rider behind the boat. In the interest of safety, you really want to keep a large distance from another boat when they are pulling someone. If you need to pass, try to cross further back so that you're not putting that rider in danger. If you need to continue in the same direction but don't want to pass, make sure you aren't following their direct path. Shift outside of their wake so that the driver pulling the rider can tell that should their rider fall, you are not in a direct path heading towards their rider. Now, at the same time, if you are the driver that is pulling someone, you need to try and give them a path for them to go by you. If you have room and you're not in an area with docks, shift closer to the shore. This can give the guy trailing you room to go by. Our last tip, and number seven, is don't buzz the cove. This is just about respect. Whether you're scoping out a cove or trying to pull a rider to good water, you don't want to be the boat on plane or throwing any rollers towards boats that are tied off or anchored in the back of a cove. You'll send large rollers that wreak havoc on everyone that's anchored or tied off in that cove. If you're coming to check out the cove, just come to an idle before you get to them. 
Keep it in an idle while you make the rounds. There's our top seven tips on how to not be that guy on the lake this summer. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, give us a like, a subscribe would be even better. And if you've got any friends out there that don't wanna be that guy either, make sure to share it with them. We'll see you on the lake.